All right, guys, so <clears throat> we're headed back into the office. We're just gonna check on the RT. It's a Saturday morning. We're going to be working on the acryl meter. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys more about that. Wow. You didn't turn on the aircon, huh? Why not? And it's, it's clean. Yeah, I was trying to go back to Alright, here's the star of the show. Any progress on what you've done so far? Uh, today I plan on connecting the, the this meter and this meter uh, through RS-485. Okay. So we can try to control it using the software that Acra provided. Okay, that's cool, man. So... Artists are tech person who deals with a lot of the technology stuff, like the new devices, new gadgets, meters, inverters. What else do you deal with, RT? Um, Arduinos, yes, IT, Ar IT, IT related, I, IT related stuff, electronics related stuff. Yeah. So here's the software that they gave us. Computer related us. stuff. You you managed to turn it in English. Yes. English uh, language. It's just, na. although not everything is translated into English. Anong model number nitong April na to? It's ADW210B24-1S. ADA what? It's right here. Ah, yeah. All right. There you go. See? So for anyone out there who's wondering, what this is, what does this do, RT? This measures uh, current voltage. Basically, it's a power analyzer, but smaller. And it can be deployed in num numerous uh, locations. Nice. So, what's the purpose? What, why are we working on something like this here at NSKY? So, since we're a solar company, we produce a lot of energy. So, we want to... We, uh, make sure that we can record how much energy that we're producing and how much energy that uh, we're able to deliver to the set. So this meter will help us achieve that. It will also uh, help us in diagnosing any problems that might occur into a site. Does this have remote control um, features? Yes. Wala or completely monitoring? Lang? Uh, by itself, this model does not have any uh, remote, like rem any remote data transmission. Okay. But using the Wi Fi transmitter of Acro, we are able to monitor it remotely. Although the modification of settings, it's not possible to remote. To change it, change it. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, what settings would you change? The Mandiba. So, ideally, the whole purpose of this device right here, and it's going to be deployed in multiple locations you can use you can use it in one of your power plants the main goal that it will do is it's going to monitor voltage current power even harmonics right yes, harmonics harmonic. and there's a bunch of other stuff you plot it in your graph mama monitor we also did we also purchase the software for this um yes the yeah. software is included with the complete purchase. Yeah. So that's a good thing about this device is you don't have to, you don't, yes, I know a lot of solar installers out there is going like, pero meron naman online monitoring system yung uh, inverter mo eh. But the thing is, you have to have another device, a third person device that will measure yung consumption mo. Kasi hindi na may measure ng well, actually, we measure din yon, di ba? Well, we measure din. Pero it's not really readily available for some inverters. Yeah. Not readily available, and and we have we have people who are also wondering kung accurate yung sensing, like yung monitoring ng inverter natin. Is it really accurate? So we have another device that is calibrated to be accurate, and then that is what's going to cross reference ngayon. Yes. Yung accuracy ng mga inverters natin. Also, so that's the whole purpose of this thing. Tapos ito, RT, the great thing about the Acryl um, Energy Meter 3-phase, yes. the ADW210 D2415, is that it has multiple channels. How many CT sensors could you put? 
on this thing? For specific purchase, uh, it's only up to one channel, but you can select variants up to four channels. So basically, this key, uh, as far as talking to the acryl person, is disabled. The only one that is enabled is Oh, really? Yeah. So, so they sent the device over to us. Naka disabled na yung tatlo. That's what I understand from acryl. Although I'm gonna try later, if, once, Kung I get, gumagana. once I get it to communicate sa meter, if I can get it to work. Okay. Yeah, pero, pero diba, if you read the manual, if you read the data sheet nito, it's capable of handling up to four. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve sensors, diba? Up to four, three phase. Yeah, up to 4-3 yeah, phase, phase line. Okay. So, yeah. Actually, with Boomer's configuration, so even if with the uh, neutral line, even with the Y configuration, even with the ML. Yeah. It's a really. Um, Where's the CT sensor at? The CT sensor is currently attached to the Ingat ka, baka ma... Oops. It's getting toasty in this stop room. Yeah, I plan to put fans in here. So, uh, so, 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 here's the city sensors. This is 400 amps. This can handle 400 amps. Okay. This comes with a device. What came in the box? So, what came in the box is the connectors, of course, mm -hmm. and the device itself. And then this also comes with an antenna for the transmitter. Mm -hmm. So, this transmits via Wi Fi, but they have numerous versions available. Have you been able to connect it to the Wi Fi? Uh, so far, our progress is connecting it to the Wi Fi, and our next progress is getting the two uh, devices to communicate with each, other. with each other. Yes, and then the next step would in that would be getting it online and then trying to monitor it online. Okay. So this plugs into here. So there's really no um, splicing required for the CD sensor side. It's all using a RJ45 connector? Yes, it's also non-invasive so you don't have to cut anything except for the voltage lines. Okay. For the voltage lines, you put them here. You put them for the A, B, and C phases, and then you just plug it here. So it's actually really easy to set up. Okay, that's really cool. This is a really nice device. So if anyone out there is looking to get um, a third party or another device that you can use to monitor your solar energy production, for instance, you're a plant owner, you're a manufacturing plant, and you have solar installed recently and you want to be able to check how much electricity you're actually either producing or consuming, you're on a three-phase line. This is a device that you could actually make use of, which is a completely three-phase, DIN rail capable, non-invasive meter si metering system. Um, I think there's just a subscription that you have to pay for on a monthly basis, yeah, uh, the yearly basis, is right? For the online monitoring. For the online monitoring. Yeah. Although, is there a way to be able to check the data um, directly from the device? I guess it would be possible. Or you can connect to use, it. Uh, you can our, you can connect the device directly to a laptop. I guess it's possible through uh, RS four eight five. Actually, that's what I'm gonna try to do later. I'm gonna okay. try to pull data directly off the this device uh, okay. by passing this device first to okay. see if it's uh, transmitting data already. All right. Sige. It's really interesting. I hope na makuha natin. Sana magawa natin. Makonect natin siya sa online monitoring system and makonect natin siya sa laptop through RS-485 because then what RT and I um, thought about, what RT and I was thinking kasi, Buying a usually kasi in order to uh, monitor uh, your power Sorry. quality or your consumption, you would use a power quality analyzer. Okay, so if you go onto the market and you check yung mga quality brands na power quality analyzers, it would cost around um, half a million pesos above. 
So, ang mahal niya. The one is around 800,000. I think nga, 1.2. 1.2. 800,000 pesos pa lang yun without the city sensors. And then the city sensors, they come at a price then. It's almost around 40,000 pesos ang city sensor. Is that each? I think that's... Each, yeah. yeah each, 40,000 pesos each. Yun pa yung pinakamaliit na city sensor. And you need three. I need three. So, if you're getting the, the quality ones... Uh, the the bigger ones that could accommodate a larger um, diameter wire and the flexible ones, uh, the flexible wire ones. It will cost you almost around a hundred thousand pesos per CT sensor. So RT and I were thinking, if you're supposed to roll out um, testing and calibration for your inverters nationwide, to let's say, sabihin lang natin, one hundred plants. So one hundred times one million pesos. 100 million pesos on monitoring yeah. al alone, di ba? And I think the Fluke one doesn't really support uh, remote monitoring. It doesn't. Wi -Fi, so. It stores on the USB disk lang. So, yun. That's why we kind of decided now we also want to be able to check out plants out there. Even plants that we didn't install in. Pero, you know, the owner wants to be able to get a consultant to come in. Is my solar really producing the right amount of um, uh, pr 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 power? So... That's why we're tinkering around with this equipment. And also, this equipment. device is quite powerful. Uh, it, me it also measures the voltage, the harmonics. So it's basically like a complete power analyzer, uh, but in the size of this. So actually, it's not just solar. So it's also about the loads in your in your factory or warehouse. Mm -hmm. So you might also learn a lot from your loads in the factory in the warehouse by using this power quality analyzer. Okay. Great. So I'm looking forward, Arty, on you finally, um, you know, getting it connected to the computer and to the online uh, system, to that platform. Yeah, and I'm we'll do another video on that. Within the day, uh, we get this online and we get this uh, readily available on our phones so we can check it out. All right. So yeah, dude, I'm excited to see that. All right. I'll see you, bro. Bye-bye.